Dead Space 2. Zealot difficulty for wikigameguides.com. So now we're all geared up. Got the plasma cutter. Got the uh, kinesis. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, one quick thing I'd like to point out. Um, you should turn the aim sensitivity up in the main... in the settings menu. Um, the aim sensitivity is completely different from the look sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Alright, so um, when you're holding left trigger, that is your aim sensitivity, and it's much slower than the look sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they're completely independent, and you can't actually adjust the look sensitivity. So, because having the flashlight out is so important, if you turn the look sensit or the aim sensitivity up, you can basically turn corners like you as fast as you are right now. Oh. While holding a flashlight out the whole time, like I'm basically like I, because I like to search every corner, make sure I don't miss, you know, an extra five plasma rounds. Mm -hmm. I basically walk around the entire time with my flashlight out, turning just as fast as I would right now, and I almost never run. Hmm. So. I uh, didn't do that myself, but it is helpful. It could be helpful. Yeah, this game is so dark. Yeah, brightness, turn brightness is up all the way, the way up, too. and it's still really dark. Yeah, like normally I turn it up all the way just because it looks better on the videos. Mm -hmm. But this is like I, I need to turn it up another fifty percent, and then I'll be happy. Yeah, like this is kind of sketchy. Luckily, most of the like pickups mm -hmm. are lit. Yeah, they really stand out, which is good. So yeah, you can see it like blinking. Mm -hmm. Um, so I played the first Dead Space a few days before I played this, mm -hmm. and I played it on the PC, and I think I like the 360 controller a lot better, mm. um, <clears throat> mainly because there's so many alt fires. There's, like, you have to, like, be scoped in, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's alt kinesis, there's alt stasis, there's alt fire, and there's oh. fire. So, like, you're, like... Doing that on a keyboard, you're like reaching for keys, and then you'll hit the wrong one, and you're like, "God damn it!" Ah, <laughs> hmm. That's you know interesting. What I, mean? I didn't. I never would have thought of that without having, without playing it. Yeah. Um. So, what's happening here? Uh, this dude's telling you to follow him, and then uh, this chick's like, he's like, "Oh, you screwed me," and she's like, "Let's see how long you survive without my help," and. You're about to be assaulted by a bunch of these dudes. So, conserve, conserve, conserve. Yes. On the hardest difficulty. It's so good to know that you can use their arms. So I got three shots, get a spear from him, wait for the next guy. The spears uh, should go where your um, crosshair is. <laughs> and they kill him in one shot? No. They'll knock him down, though. Oh. Uh, the weaker one, sometimes it'll kill him one shot, but usually it takes two shots. But each dude has two arm spears. Mm -hmm. So usually if you kill one dude, you can kill the next dude. Mm -hmm. But then if they start crowding you, just whatever, use the ammo. Also, um, another difference between this one and the first one. Uh -huh. The first one, I ran out of inventory slots super fast. Okay. And in number two, I had to work to run out of inventory slots. Really? Yeah. Like I mean, there's so many different guns, so many different types of ammo, and like... You can only hold 25. Like, in the first game, I would run out of inventory slots carrying, like, two guns. Yeah. And in this one, um, my first playthrough, I had three guns, and I never ran out of inventory, like, once. The whole playthrough. So, I think they're a little more liberal with how much you can carry. Cool. And then there's a uh, power node right here, which you use to upgrade. Yes. It's the exact and I same think as four on this first level. Five. There's five. Yeah. Oh, I missed one. So, uh, yeah, it's the exact same as Dead Space One. How that works. 